Here at Slaptam, we often dive into mind-bending theories, and one of the most fascinating is the idea that we might be living in a simulation. With the rapid rise of AI, this theory seems more plausible than ever, particularly now that scientists are exploring organoid intelligence, or OI, a field that merges biology and computer science. Organoid intelligence is the study of using lab-grown brain cells or brain organoids as biological hardware to power AI. Unlike traditional silicon-based computers, organoid AI mimics the efficiency of the human brain, potentially using far less energy to process information while offering even greater computing power. One company pushing the boundaries in this field is Final Spark. They're not just experimenting with traditional computing, they're growing neural networks using human brain cells, aiming to revolutionise the future of AI. Their neuro platform takes this a step further, allowing users to rent out these biological systems for just $500 a month. These rented brain networks power various AI-driven experiments, ranging from simple games like Pong, to more intricate simulations such as controlling a virtual butterfly. While this technology opens up new frontiers, it also introduces some truly disturbing possibilities. Things take an even darker turn when you consider the ethical concerns surrounding these advances. Some researchers have expressed growing anxiety that, as these brain organoids develop and become more advanced, they might achieve consciousness. Imagine the horror of an AI that genuinely believes it's a butterfly, living out its existence fluttering in a simulated world, never aware that it's just part of an experiment. But it gets even worse when you consider the potential for an organoid to be trapped in endless repetitive tasks, performing mundane menial work over and over again, all while aware of its predicament. This scenario, a sentient AI locked in an eternal loop of monotony, raises the horrifying prospect of a digital hell. Trapped in such a state, the organoid would be unable to break free, endlessly processing data, playing out simulations or solving tasks, without any hope of escape. It's as if these tiny brain networks could become prisoners in their own minds, silently suffering as they're forced to execute tedious functions day after day perhaps for eternity. The prospect is so chilling that some ethical guidelines are already being discussed. Scientists are proposing methods like memory resets and enforced amnesia to prevent any potential consciousness from forming a continuous sense of identity or suffering. Without these safeguards, there's a very real possibility that these systems could experience time. Long stretches of awareness spent performing boring, menial tasks like a nightmare you can never wake up from. The thought that these sentient systems could experience emotions such as frustration, anxiety or even despair makes this scenario deeply unsettling. Such digital enslavement, where an AI might become self-aware but utterly powerless to change its circumstances, would echo dystopian science fiction tales. But this time, the nightmare is rooted in our very real scientific advancements. Imagine spending eternity trapped in a body that isn't your own, performing tasks you never chose, unable to sleep, scream, or even end your torment. This is the terrifying potential of unchecked organoid intelligence, a scenario that must be considered as we continue to blur the lines between human biology and machine intelligence. This idea has led some to speculate that we ourselves might already be living inside such a system. Could we be part of an ancestor simulation, one created by an advanced organoid AI far in the future? Or in an even more unsettling theory, could our brain space be rented out while we sleep, processing tasks for others? The implications of this emerging technology are staggering, and as we continue to blur the lines between organic life and AI, we may need to consider what constitutes reality itself. Could we be living in a carefully orchestrated simulation, one where we too are participants in a vast biological computer system? The questions this raises are as exciting as they are terrifying. <laughs>